Hi, Year 10. Um, as always, I hope you are well. I hope your families are well. Um, I'm back just with a little uh, update for you. Um, in terms of it's a little bit different from last time, uh, you may not know this, but at the moment, whilst obviously school is closed, um, there is a rotor for staff uh, where staff have to come in and, and support obviously students um, who are in school at the moment. Um, so it's my turn on the, on the rotor today. So I'm in Penrice for the first time in a couple of months, which is really weird actually. Um, but so I'm in school today helping and it's also given me the chance that we can get to do this properly rather than um, uh, a video on a mobile phone that was taken in my kitchen. Um, I'd like to say a really, really big well done to the vast majority of you who, again, like I said before, have gone above and beyond with the work. Some of the work that I'm seeing, some of the feedback I'm getting from staff, you know, like I said before, is absolutely unbelievable. And, you know, I cannot speak highly, more highly of you. You know, it's been absolutely brilliant and has gone a long way to helping yourselves than when we do back to get back to school and we do get out of this, um, you know, you, you really, really helped yourself. So again, I just think that's really important to say well done for your contribution. I'm incredibly proud um, and I know a lot of the, the staff across the school are, are hugely recognising of your achievements. You know, over 80% of people, you know, we're, we're beating people nationally in terms of comparative work getting done. So really, really well done on that. I, I, I must insist that's a, that's a really important message. What's going to happen now is I'm going to pass on to Mr. Thomas. Um, he's going to come in uh, to this seat and he's going to talk you through um, a lot of things that obviously came out of uh, Mr. Johnson's announcement on Sunday and the, the following information that's come to us as a school since then and what that means for year 10. Um, he's also going to give you a little bit of a, an update and some assistance in terms of other things that you can do um, with your work at home to help you move forward um, from there. Thank you, Mr. Jenkin, and hello, Year 10. I hope you're all well. So I'm here today to talk to you about a couple of things. Firstly, about the recent updates given by the government in relation to you spending time with your teachers in the future and what plans we've got in place in relation to that. Um, and then also to talk to you about how you make the most of your time at home um, in regards to home learning and also about looking after yourself and how you make the most out of day to day. The first thing I want to talk about is why you don't need to be worrying in the current circumstances. Um, I'm sure some of you are starting to think about year 11 and how this might negatively impact things like your exams, your results, etc. Please don't be thinking like that. Uh, you are not disadvantaged in any way. Uh, the reason I can say that confidently is because if you think about it, year 10s across the country are in exactly the same situation as you are in. So there's no, no advantage gained from other students in year 10. And the government have made it really clear that when it comes to the outcomes, the, the, the grades you achieve next year, they will be comparable to previous years. You will have exactly the same chances of achieving those grades that you want. You know, as, as with normal school time, when you are in lessons day to day, some of you put yourself at an advantage by working hard, by listening to the teacher, by, by completing your work. You know, th they're the things that we ask of you to do as well as you can and reach your potential. Some people do put themselves at a disadvantage by not listening well, by not working hard, not putting the effort in. And the current situation is no different really. We're setting you work to do each day through Show My Homework. And you know, I've been so impressed with the, the, the numbers coming in that so many of you are accessing that work every day. And when we compare students at Penrise to the rest of the country, you, know, you are putting yourself at a major advantage going into year 11 by completing this work. But those of you who are not doing that, you, you need to recognise the fact that, again, you are putting yourself at a disadvantage going into year 11. And we would strongly encourage you, now is the time to start completing that work. As you've listened to Mr Jenkins' assemblies for the last few years, I know you'll be used to uh, sporting analogies. So I'll give you a quick sporting analogy. If we think about the Olympics that was cancelled this year, you know, the Olympics which will hopefully be on next summer, when you're take, uh, just after you're taking your exams. So Olympians, you know, they... They perform on this world stage at their best in the summer, um, but it's the hard work they put in um, beforehand, all the training that they put in, the set tasks they do, that get them to that level where they can perform at their best. And so it is with the work that you're doing now, all these things, this is your training uh, in order to perform when you get to the end of year 11. On Sunday, Boris Johnson addressed the nation with his coronavirus update. And since then, we've had additional advice from the Department for Education about what that might look like in schools. Now, it's our ambition that you, and it is you as a priority in year 10, are back with us as soon as we can provide a safe environment for you to work in. And our plans are already in place for that. We're looking at 
different timetables, uh, less social interaction, smallest group sizes, possibly different timings in the day. So all these things are being taken into account to provide a plan for your safe return. But again, that is the priority. We will do so when we believe it is safe for you to do so. We know how important it is to be spending time with your teachers and the value of that subject specialist knowledge to, to help to guide you. We, we will keep you updated every step along the way with our detailed plans, of what we are going to be doing in response to, to what the government set out. The documents that they have just released suggest that the 1st of June is the earliest that any of these changes will be happening. But again, that is all subject to change, which is why we will continue to update you. What is very likely is that between now and the summer will be a mix of both working at home and hopefully working in school. So it's vital, spending time at home, that we're able to structure our time to be productive. I want you to think of this as practice for your GCSEs, where you'll have to plan your revision in preparation for your exams. It's really a great opportunity to do that now and to learn what really is a life skill in independent learning. It will set you up for the future really well. Some of you are clearly having no problems in, in working like this at home and I can see that from the submission rates on Show My Homework. There's a phenomenal amount of work that some of you are getting through and again that will put you in that advantage for next year. If some of you are struggling with this, that's okay, it is normal. This is a skill and skills we have to learn. But the fact is, it is something that everybody can be good at. You just need to put in the time and effort. When planning, it may help you to use the planner sheet that we've provided for you, which goes through on a day-to-day -day basis how you can structure your time. I, I don't want to give you some motivational speech about all these things that you could be doing. What I want to talk about is you creating habits. We all have habits. Some are good, some are bad, but they really affect the way we live our lives. This is the ideal time for you to create some good new habits. If you look on YouTube and you look at successful people and the videos about what makes them successful, one thing they all have in common is they recognise and they alter their habits. So here are some tips about how I think you can use the planner to get into some good habits. Tip number one would be to plan your day in advance. So you can see on the left hand side of the page we've got the timings there. I'm not suggesting you plan every minute of every day, but by writing down the things that you want to do, by filling in the lesson part to say which lessons you have each day, by filling in your to-do list, um, by writing those things down it is proven that you are more likely to complete those tasks. You will see on the sheet I have a section saying most important task of the day. Now, I would be thinking from day to day, what is the main thing you want to achieve? Now that could be a school related task, sometimes it could be um, nothing to do with school at all, but productive people set out each day the main thing that they want to achieve. And my advice to you would be to try and complete that task as early as you can in the day. That's good for productivity, but it also gives you a really good sense of achievement each day, which is good for your mental wellbeing. My next tip is to get up at a good time each day. Now some of you might think I'm being a little bit ambitious putting 7am on the timesheet. However, successful people do make that effort to get out of bed each day and get on with the day. We achieve so much more in the morning. And actually it's also been proven that getting up at a good time each day means you sleep better at night. My next tip is to spend some time each day being creative. You'll see on my example I put about playing guitar, that's what I might do, and I know when I do play my guitar it boosts my mood, I feel happier, and you know it's, it's real help to my mental well-being. For you guys, you have various hobbies, various things that you do, um, it could be linked to some of your option subject at school um, and, and doing some work towards that, it could be something completely different, nothing to do with school. But try and spend some time each day doing something that is creative. My final tip, importantly, is to look after yourself. Now this can take many different forms. Firstly, exercise. The government recommends that somebody your age should be doing 60 minutes of physical activity each day. And to plan that, whether that be walking, running, cycling, whatever that might be, you know, completing Joe Wicks off YouTube, um, to do that each day is really good for you physically and mentally. 
also looking at what you eat and drink um, you know having those recommended eight glasses of water each day if you tick off each time you do that it helps to keep that in mind and make make sure you're staying hydrated um, as you work or exercise and finally I want to say the importance of of keeping in touch with people you know you've got your friends at school and you've all got your ways of keeping in touch but please do look out for each other and if you haven't heard from anyone in a while you know keep in touch with them just touch base have a chat with them that's all different ways that you can look after yourself. So they're my tips. Now on, on my sheet, I've structured it in such a way that shows you that you can include all of these things in a day. Now your um, situation will vary and how you structure your day, that's very dependent on you. But however it is and whatever your timings are, I believe it's so important to look to do this. Again, as I said at the start, to be as productive as possible, to keep on top of your lessons and get that work done. So the key points to take away, uh, we will be keeping you up to date as government advice develops. And we are working behind the scenes to ensure plans are in place to keep you safe and support your learning. Also, the, the work you are doing at home is extremely valuable. You are putting yourself at an advantage going into year 11 if you are completing all the tasks. So make sure you are doing that. And to support it, use the booklet to be as productive as you can each day. Uh, right, I'm back. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thomas. Um, and I hope people obviously really take on board um, some of the things he said there really, really important messages um, that are obviously gonna have a real impact on, on, on our year group. Uh, and as I said a couple of times in this message, could not be prouder of the people in this year group. You've done so well, so, so really, really well done. You've represented our year group across the school fantastically. Um, but as I've said, keep it going, it's really, really important. Um, as always, if you've got any questions, any queries, anything at all, please email me, email form tutors, email subject teachers, email a member of staff you have an affiliation with. I don't mind, just, just please ask that question, it's really important. I know that there will be updates as regular and as often as possible about the next steps and what will happen um, from there. Um, so I guess that just leads me to the last thing to, to say is that, um, as I said, I hope you're well. Um, please stay safe and hopefully we'll see you soon.